Welcome back children to Thursday's writing challenge. This is a video for walnut class and oak class. It's lovely to have you with us. So you will remember that our video this week is called Baboon on the Moon and we're having a look at it with Miss Broach in science and with Miss Lyons in, re in writing. So I'm sure you know it very well by now. If you'd like to, pause the video now and go and watch the film again. Get comfy and enjoy. Okay, so now that we've reminded ourselves of the video, we can start to think about our challenge for today. It says, can I write a postcard to Baboon? And on Tuesday, children, we talked about how this would be a lovely thing to do because he's feeling a bit sad, a bit lonely, a bit dejected, isn't he? So that's what we're going to do to try to cheer him up. Fingers crossed it works. A warm-up challenge. Can you pause the video and try to remember what makes a good postcard? We thought of four things on Tuesday. Can you have a go? Yes, that's right. We need the name and address of the person we're sending it to. We need some writing to help cheer our baboon up. We need a picture, usually on the back. And we need a stamp in the top right-hand corner. And as you'll remember, here is Anna's postcard and she's got the name and address, some writing, a stamp and a picture, which is usually found on the back. OK, children, so I'd like you to have a little think now about how you might like to set out your postcard. You might like to have a go at making your page look like a real postcard with a stamp and the address on the right, some writing on the left and a picture on the back. So that's the way that you could do it if you want to. Or you might like to transform your exercise book into a postcard by using the top part for the picture and the bottom part for your writing. So think about that now and just set your page up either to look like this to look like this. Okay children, so now that you've done that, let's have a think about our challenges. Green challenge. We are going to be writing our postcard using capital letters, full stops and finger spaces. And if you're in oak class, you're writing target too. So you can see that I've already added my stamp and my name and address. It says Mr Baboon. Mr is a year two tricky word meteor drive the moon so that's who he is and that's where he lives so you might want to pause now and think what's my baboon going to be called and where is he going to live have a think and write it down okay now here's for the writing that's going to cheer him up so let's have a look at our spider diagram from yesterday to remind ourselves of our ideas Okay, children, boy, am I glad I did this yesterday so that now I've got my ideas all ready to go and all I need to do is choose some. So I've added to mine since yesterday. I've written we could have a tea party to cheer him up or I could bring him some bananas because I think my baboon likes bananas. I'm going to choose this one here. I'm going to suggest that we have a tea party to cheer him up. Okay, so I'm going to write... Dear Mr Baboon, and I think I'll write, we can have a tea party. Okay, we, how many sounds can I hear? Two, yes, I need W capital letter and E sound. Now, oops, we know that we is a year one tricky word. It looks like this, doesn't it, children? Finger space, we can, k -a -n can, have, a V, digraph, v, two letters making v sound. We can have, finger space, a, finger space, tea, t, e, e, cup of tea, a tea, p, r, t, e, party. What do I need on the end of my sentence, children? That's right, a full stop. I'm going to write from finger space miss lions okay let's read it together to see what i've got dear mr baboon 
We can have a tea party, full stop, from Miss Lyons. So you can see, children, I've got my capital letter at the beginning of my sentence and year ones and twos for names. I've got my capital letter here for the beginning of my sentence. I've got my full stop at the end of my sentence. I've got my finger spaces in between my words. Well done me. If you're in year one or two, you might want to think about your target as well. So that's green challenge. Write your postcard using capital letters, full stops and finger spaces. If you fancy an even trickier challenge, keep watching. Okay, children, amber challenge. Capital letters, full stops, finger spaces, target and adjectives. And we thought about adjectives last week, didn't we? When we were looking at giraffes can't dance. So we know that an adjective is a describing word. Okay, so I'm going to start with my sentence that I had before. Dear Mr Baboon, we can have a tea party from Miss Lyons. Now, I don't have any adjectives just yet. I wonder if I could describe this tea party. What kind of tea party is it going to be? We can have a fun tea party. We can have a crazy tea party. We can have a huge tea party. I'm going to have huge. We can have a huge a huge comma, I want to have another adjective, you twos. We can have a huge crazy tea party, full stop. So again, I've got my capital letters at the beginning of sentences, my full stops at the ends, my finger spaces, and now I've got some adjectives as well. Well done, Miss Lyons. Amber challenge. Full stops, capital letters, finger spaces, adjectives and your target oak class. Keep watching for an even trickier challenge. Red challenge. Children, I've already got my name and address as we had before. But this time we need to add the word because to explain our ideas. So I'm going to write, dear Mr Baboon, I want to cheer you up. Why do I want to cheer him up? Because you are all alone. Or we could even say, I am going to build a rocket to visit you because you are all alone, full stop. Okay, let's read my sentence or my writing. Dear Mr Baboon, I am going to build a rocket to visit you because you are all alone, love Miss Lyons. Pause the video, Red Children. Can you see? Have I included all of my success criteria across the top? What have I missed out? That's right, I've missed out my full stop. Where's it going to go? I am going to build a rocket to visit you because you are all alone. Full stop. Well done. So my because children has explained why I'm going to build the rocket. I'm going to build the rocket because Mr Baboon is all alone and I can visit him in my rocket. So that's why I want to do it. Because helps me to explain why. So if you're going for red challenge, congratulations. Here is your success criteria. Capital letters, full stops, finger spaces, target, adjectives and because. And I've just realised, children, I haven't got any adjectives in this sentence either. So I'm going to write, I'm going to add them in here. What kind of rocket will I have? I'm going to build a 
speedy, comma, special. It sounds better if I say special, comma, speedy, doesn't it? Okay, a special, comma, speedy, let's take that comma away, we don't need that one anymore, rocket to visit you because you are all alone. Let's move that little full stop. Pop it in the right place now, full stop. Well done, children. Okay, so if you're going for the red challenge, best of luck. If you're going for green challenge, best of luck. Or amber challenge, best of luck. Take a photograph to show your teacher. We can't wait to hear how you're going to cheer up Mr Baboon. See you soon.